Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Dariyat, chapter number 51, verse number 56, that we have created the jinn and the men not but to worship me. The main reason for our creation is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The word ibadah comes from the word abd. That means we have to serve. We have to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if we obey the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are submitting our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, the glorious Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 90. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, O you who believe, inna mal khamru wal maithru, most certainly intoxicants and gambling, wal anzab wal azlamu, dedication of stones, divination of arrows, rich to minamali shaitan, these are Satan's handiwork. First anibunu lukum tuflihun, abstain from this handiwork that you may prosper. So if you abstain from having intoxicants, you are doing ibadah. You are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are obeying his commandments. You are submitting our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the same message is given in the Bible. If you read the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1, it says, Wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raging. And whoever is deceived is not wise. A similar message is repeated in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5. Verse number 18, it says, Be not drunk with wine. So alcohol is even prohibited in the Bible in no less than two different places. So if you abstain from having alcohol, you are submitting a will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran, in no less than four different places. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 173. In Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 3. In Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 145. And Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 115. Hurrimat alaykumul maitu tu waddamu wa lahamul khinzir. Wa ma ahullali gairin labi. Forbidden for you for food, ah? Dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine, and any food on which any name besides Allah's name is taken. So these four foods, dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine that is pork, and any food on which any name besides Allah's name is taken, it is prohibited in the Quran in no less than four different places. These types of food are even prohibited in the Bible. If you read the Bible, in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 17, verse number 15, and the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 21, it says, you shall not eat anything which dieth of itself. So even dead meat is prohibited in the Bible. Regarding blood, there are no less than five different places in the Bible where blood is prohibited. If you read in the book of Genesis, chapter number 9, verse number 4. In the book of Leviticus, chapter number 17, verse number 14. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 12, verse number 16. In 1 Samuel, chapter number 14, verse number 33. And the book of Acts, chapter number 15, verse number 29. The Bible prohibits having blood in no less than five different places. As far as the pork is concerned, it's mentioned in the Bible, in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8, that the swine, though it divides the hoof and is cloven-footed, yet it chews not the cud. It's unclean for you. Thou shalt not eat its flesh, nor touch its carcass. It is unclean for you. The same message is repeated in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8. The swine, Though it divides the hoof, yet it chews not the cud. It's unclean for you. Thou shalt not eat its flesh, nor touch its carcass. And eating pork has been prohibited the third time in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 65, verse number 2 to 5. The Bible prohibits the eating of the flesh of swine, that is pork, in no less than three different places. And the last, the eating food on which any name besides Allah's name that has been taken, is also prohibited in the Bible. In the book of Acts, chapter number 15, verse number 29, as well as the book of Revelation, chapter number 2, verse number 14, that any food on which any name besides Almighty God's name is taken, if that food is put on altars, then that food is prohibited even for the Christians. If Christian means following the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, I would like to say that we Muslims are more Christian than the Christians themselves.